Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 185. And what you're looking at here is a radio that I just recently got uh, from one of my subscribers. Um, their website is countycom.com, and they provide a whole array of um, items for the government and for individuals related to emergencies and for instance they sell this emergency radio and I'm going to they gave me like I said they gave me a couple items I'm going to review the radio today that they uh, sent to me and uh, we'll see what we think about it so thanks again to uh, County Com. now this is their model GP-5 DSP. So it's a DSP radio. It, if it looks very familiar, it's either very familiar or identical to the Texan uh, PL360 radio. So if you're familiar with that radio, this is basically that radio. And they have put their name on the back of the radio. County Com, there it is right there. So we're going to review this neat little radio. As you can see, it's nice and compact. It fits in your hand uh, very, very well. Now, um, it, this thing is loaded with features, so I'm going to have to do more than one video to go over all the features. I did a video yesterday, and I was up to 35 minutes and I had only gotten through like three quarters of the features. So I'm doing it over again this morning and I've kind of broken it down into uh, it probably might even be three videos. It might be two videos about the radio itself and then a third video on its reception capability versus other radios. So here we go. Anyway, it's AM, FM, and shortwave. The short wave and long wave. And the short wave band, which is, of course, what you guys are interested in, is um, from 2.3 megahertz to 29.950 megahertz. It does not have single sideband. It's AM only. And uh, we're going to see how it does. Also, what comes with this radio from Countycom is this strange looking device this is actually the AM band meaning uh, your broadcast AM band um, to normal receive and this guy plugs in the top of this guy right here and normally these radios have a ferrite uh, core antenna built in which this one does also, so you don't have to use this if you've got, you know, strong local stations. But because the radio is so small, they came up with this concept of this external antenna for AM reception. And it's also directional, so you can rotate it once you've plugged it in. Because we know that uh, when you're tuning those bands, um, you, you sometimes can get interference, and if you can make have it or have an antenna that's directional that helps and on it's what's written on here is the frequency range is 150 kilohertz to 1710 kilohertz so it's the low band plus the medium band so that's one of the accessories that comes with it another accessory which you normally don't get with some of these radios is an external antenna for short wave Oh, <laughs> that's the earbuds. Yeah, I guess you could use that if you had to. Here it is right here. External antenna. Let me take it out of the package to see it a little better. That has the uh, the clip that clips onto the uh, telescopic antenna. And then another clip that you can clip on the, uh, either a tree if you're outside or if you're in the house, you can clip it to uh, a curtain or a curtain rod and then string this out. It's probably about... These typically are 
about 20 to 25 feet long, and they really improve uh, shortwave reception. I did a review of one of these that you can buy separately, and I showed that these really improve. So that came with it free. That came with it free. And then the last thing that came with it is the uh, carrion pouch. Goes on your belt, protects the radio. Now, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't allow you to actually tune and you get to the controls when it's in this. But once you have the radio uh, tuned, you can put it back in your pouch, put it on your belt, and it protects it from getting scratched. The other thing talking about pouch, it does have a really nice clip on the back for, you put that down, for clipping to your belt. So it does have that, and I believe, uh, yes, it probably comes off if you don't want to have that. Now, the one thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have any kind of stand so that you can stand it up at an angle on your desk if you're using this on your desk or putting it on your nightstand. So that's one drawback. So anyway, let's before we get too far along here, doing the same thing I did before. I'm getting too in depth. Let's uh, we're going to use on my shortwave radio report card, like we've done in the past on these radios, and we're going to uh, grade this thing on several categories: look and feel, re readability. It's always important to me, at least. Power options, tuning, audio quality, special features, reception, which will definitely be a separate video showing, uh, doing some actual receiving on shortwave because that's what we're interested in, shortwave. So let's, uh, let's start with look and feel. Okay, I mentioned a couple of things already. It feels in, in your hand, it feels really comfortable to carry around. Um, does have the clip, clip it on your belt. Uh, the display is nice and large. The, the keys, and this is something I struggle with, is the little buttons or keys here are very small, and I struggle with those, especially if I want to hold it in my hand and push the buttons with my thumb. Sometimes that's a problem, so I have to use my other hand and use my fingernail to get to these little tiny buttons. So to me, that's kind of a negative. Uh, but, you know, you're talking about a very small radio, so not surprising. Um, so let me, so I would say, and the, and the case is, um, is again, the material similar to the, uh, the other Texan radios. Like I say, this is, uh, their brand. This, this is, um, their brand, County Comms brand. And like I said, on the back, I showed you they got their name on it. So overall, I think the look and feel is very good. The only negative is that I think, because I always, you know, 90% of the time, I have my radios on a desk, and then when I go somewhere, then, yep, I grab them and go. But I like to have them, have the capability, and this doesn't have a stand, and being it's long and tall, it has tendency to fall over, especially when you extend the antenna. So I, that's a little bit of a negative. So we're going to give it a, for look and feel, I'm going to give it a B minus. So look and feel, it gets a B minus. Now, next thing is readability. And specifically, we're talking about the display. This display, even though it's small because it's a small radio, has very large numerals, as you can see right there. Very easy to read, even for Gramps here that's got not so great eyes. So display is great. The um, turn the power on here. I've got a lot of light on the room now, so you probably can't notice it. But look at that. Look how bright that background LCD is. Let me push the. And you could again like the Texan other Texan radios. Again, I keep using that term. Um, when you use a function, I just tuned it, the light comes on for a few seconds. So there you see I'm tuning. And as long as I'm tuning, the light's going to stay on. Or, or pushing any of these other keys, the light, will, the backlight will stay on. And then it'll go off in about five or six. 
So that's 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 what I think about the look and feel. I gave it a B minus and on reli readability. What's the matter with me? I can't talk anymore. Read and I promise I haven't been drinking. I don't drink, so that's not my excuse. Readability. Um, I'm going to give it. I can't think of anything negative about the read readability, so I'm going to give it an A. So now the next one is power options. Okay. This is, again, this is, uh, this radio is kind of unique in that number one, let's go to the batteries. Okay. Let me open up the battery case. Let me open the battery. Stand by. Fumble fingers here. Can't open the battery case. Okay. It's powered by three AA batteries. Now I love radios that don't use special built in batteries that Either you have to buy a special battery, or once the built-in battery dies, yeah, luck. I hate those. I like radios that use standard batteries. This uses three AA batteries, or it has the option to use rechargeable batteries, and it has a uh, small USB port. Um, that you can charge the rechargeable batteries with using a, an adapter cable to your computer or a uh, adapter for a AC adapter. Now, unfortunately, they don't give you the cable, but this is a very general, uh, generic cable, so that you probably already have one or you can get it for a couple of dollars, so that's not a big deal. And in the radio, you, uh, one of the functions is to either tell the radio that it has rechargeable batteries so that it will allow you to make that connection and then it will charge the batteries or tell it not so that you can use standard alkaline batteries. So that's the power source. Like I say, they don't give you any kind of AC adapter. So, since they don't give you an AC adapter, which a lot of the companies are doing that, I'm going to knock it down one uh, grade for not giving you the AC adapter. So I'm going to give it a B. Okay. Now, let me put the battery cover back on, which is really easy to get back on. Okay. Now, with the radio is on, we're in shortwave mode. Um, They, um, they <laughs> this is this is where I got bogged down on a previous recording. Is they have like four or five modes of tuning, and I really got bogged down and got confused. So that's why I'm doing one of the reasons I'm doing this video. So I was going to briefly tell you about the modes, and in another video I'll go through what each of those modes are. So one of the modes I'm going to pull out the manual here. Because there's so many modes and a little bit confusing. Okay, under section under tuning in stations, method one. This is what they they call method one, is ETM or easy tuning mode. Now this is similar, and I'm still trying to to determine the differences. And I did some research, and I kind of came up blank of how this differs from ATS uh, mode of tuning that the, for instance, here's my Texan PL660, which has ATS. It does not have ETM. -E so, so what, what I briefly read and I played with is ETM is similar to ATS in that you put the radio in ETM mode uh, in a particular uh, band, AM, FM, shortwave, and then you press and hold the ETM button and it scans the entire band. Like for instance, if you're in shortwave mode, it will scan the entire shortwave band and temporarily store in some memory locations that are marked E00 
x or like for instance 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in 4 um, short wave there are 250 memory locations e memory locations so that's kind of how that works the other uh, mode is uh, manual mode which you there's a tuning knob right here on the side you put it in make sure it's in VF for uh, variable frequency that's what I think it's called and um, you just turn let me get the light right here turn that knob and you can see it's tuning now I, actually I'm in memory mode so I gotta go to the other mode it flashes for a couple of seconds to show it's changing modes and now I'm just manually tuning and it tunes in the shortwave band it tunes at um, one kilohertz steps okay so that's another method that's two methods already then there's um, auto browse station mode where you put it in uh, VF mode and whatever band you want, shortwave say for instance, and you press and hold the VF button like that and it starts tuning until it finds the strong station and it stops. So it just does a scan and stops when it gets a strong station. So that's method number three. Method number four which is um, what the other Texan is calling ATS is auto browse memory and uh, no I think that back that's auto browse memory is for going to memory mode VM mode and scanning through the, the frequencies that you've stored in memory and it just scans it until it finds um, again a station that's on the air at the time and stops then actually a fifth mode is the ATS mode and that's the uh, auto tuning storage where it's similar to the other mode where it scans and then it stores in temporary memory now how that differs from the ETM mode I'm not quite sure except ATS mode gives you um, two options same as in the PL660 There's one option is to just scan the band that you're in when you start to scan say if you're in the 31 meter band it just scans that band and stores whatever it finds the other option is to scan the entire shortwave spectrum so and then, it, like I say, it stores it in another set of temporary memory locations. Now, how that's different from ETM, I, I'm not sure at this point. So I won't get into that because that's what drug the previous video out so long trying to explain that. So that's a various tuning. So it's got all kinds of tuning modes. You know, it just it, you could just go crazy with all these tuning modes by himself. Well, anyway. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it just overwhelms you with tuning modes. So I'm going to put a, definitely an A there for tuning capability. So it definitely gets an A for tuning capability. Now, next one is audio quality. The, uh, and I, I hesitate to do, uh, any let you listen to anything on the audio, especially FM, because um, I can get uh, a black mark from YouTube for recording music. So I, I won't even go into. But anyway, I'll just say that this little speaker does an excellent job. Um, and the audio is very loud. Matter of fact, I've typically had to keep it tuned down. It's so loud. And it has a headphone jack at the top and I guess I forgot to tell you that it does come with earbuds so you can use that so I would give the audio um, now it does not stereo of course um, but I will give the audio I'm not going to give it an A because typically in 
a radio this small and a speaker this small, you might get some distortion. I, I'm going to give it a B just because it's a small radio and a small speaker. So that's the only reason I'm giving it a B. Now, the next category is on the scorecard is special features. Now, one thing I've already, already talked about all the uh, tuning modes. So I would call those, you know, some special features. You know, you got that ETM, which my Texan 660 not, does not have ETM. And uh, also, and let me see if I can do it. Well, let me turn it off. Okay. Um, it has alarms. It has dual clock. Right, right now, I'm showing uh, two clocks. One here's the, um, this is actually, <laughs> I haven't set the clock, so it's, it's anything. But anyway, you have two clocks, so you can have one for local and one for UTC time. Also, if I hit the, uh, whoops, and as a matter of fact, I'm in that mode. But I'm going to show you again. This is showing temperature. Get the lighting right here. 74 degrees here in my office. So that's a special function that it gives you a temperature reading. Now you can hit the display button, and now... It's giving you the two different clocks. So it's, and it has alarms, like I say, and, uh, but I it's kind of neat, especially since, you know, this is, this is going to be what I call a field radio that you're going to carry around with you. Um, it's kind of no, nice to know the temperature. Now, the one thing you have to keep in mind is that if you're holding this radio a lot, then it's going to start sensing the temperature of your hand, so it'll be a little misleading. So you need to set it down and let it equalize to the ambient temperature. Now, some of the radios, some of the bigger radios, that uh, when you're using them and uh, you've got you, you cut your volume up quite a bit, it'll heat up the electronics, and so it'll influence this temperature reading. This one, pretty small, small electronics probably won't affect it. So. Features? Yeah, it's got lots of features. Well, I'm going to give it an A plus on features. Now, the next thing is, which I'm not going to do right now, which is I do a reception test. And that's where I tune the radio, looking for certain, um, and I'm speaking of shortwave now, because AM, FM, this thing does a fantastic job. And nowadays, the radios to receive AM and FM all of them do a fantastic job, so that's not difficult. A shortwave band is the one that <clears throat> truly tells you whether it's a good radio or not. So I'll be doing a video in the ingrading their reception capability. So as you can see, it doesn't have any scores below. The B- minus on look and feel was the only one, and that was because I like to have a radio with a built-in stand. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's overall, it's going to have a great score. Um, uh, the last time I checked was a couple of days ago, the uh, website, and you really need to go to the website because they got a lot of stuff besides just radio. Um, Countycom had this on sale for, I think, about $45. So that that's a good deal uh, price-wise. The um, And this is, I haven't showed you, this is the, the built-in telescopic antenna. Nice little orange knob on the top. And that's uh, basically the review. Uh, the controls on this side are the volume and tuning. Um, see if I missed any buttons here that were obvious. I think I've uh, touched on everything. It has an FM stereo button, so you can receive FM stereo and hear the stereo out the uh, earbuds, out the earphone jack. So that's the show today. Thanks for watching. Gosh, I'm still up to 24 minutes. I just seemed to ramble, ramble, ramble. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.